Hello, welcome to this tutorial brought to you by me, Craig Ritchies, aka Mega Minecraft Madness. Now, a lot of you will probably want to know how to set up a Minecraft server without using Hamachi. Now, for those of you who don't know what Hamachi is, Hamachi is like a virtual private network you can set up and you can literally play games and online server things with your friends. And that's the thing. Only your friends. Only people who know your network key and whatnot and your network ID and password and what other rubbish. So anyways, um, we're going to have a look at how to set up a Minecraft server without the use of Hamachi, and, even better, it's completely free, so you don't have to go ahead and buy a server from an online website like Clanforge or whatever. So without further ado, we shall get into the tutorial. Okay, so first of all, what you want to do, of course, is download the server software. So that's what I'm going to now do. So if I type in Minecraft, uh, there we go. Um... Let's go ahead and download and Minecraft server. Okay, then save it anywhere. I'm going to save it in a folder on my desktop, which I shall now create. Okay, there we go. Right, and I shall call it Minecraft server without that underscore, because I hate underscores. My OCD tells me not to be underscores. <laughs> so anyways, um... Next, what you need to do is to go into your CMD, your command prompt. I'm probably doing this in the wrong order, but either way, it'll probably come out the same result. It should work, it basically. Okay, so when you get uh, your command prompt come up, what you want to do is type in ipconfig, and just that, with no spaces. And what you want to look at is the line where it says IP address, and then 192.168. Dot, dot, whatever you, your uh, internal IP is. And what you need to do now is to go onto your router software, which is, an, again, another internal IP. It's through your default gateway. So in my case, it's 192.168.11. It's a Netgear. And, of course, you will probably get an authentication required dialog box, in which case you need to type in your username and password and click OK. So, as you can see, I've got a little menu down the side here. And what we need to click on is port forwarding. Now, I'm pretty sure I already have Minecraft on the list, but I will get rid of it and start again for the purpose of this tutorial. So, let's do that. Let's delete that. It's on the wrong IP anyway. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, so while that's deleting, I just better notify you, I will be blocking off my IP for security purposes. I don't want anybody hacking into my computer, because I have a lot of stuff on there. I.e. my other Minecraft gameplay and Terraria gameplay videos, and I do not want to use them. I mean, lose them, not use them. Of course, I use them. Stupid ass. <laughs> so, <laughs> so what you want to do now is go on to add custom service, uh, which will load up another page, something similar to this. What you want to do is give your service a name. I'm just going to call it Minecraft. Uh, starting port, the default port for Minecraft, of course, is two five five six five. So we shall use that. Oh, not two five 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 five. Two five five six five. There we go. And ending port, because you want it to be just one port, it will be the same. So 2556... God damn it, why do I keep doing that? <laughs> 25565. And a server IP address. Now take a look. This is the IP address which you find here. So in my case, it's 192.168.13. Okay? So 192.168.13. Now I must point out the internal IP address is not accessible by anybody outside my network so there's not really any security risks there it's just when it comes to the external IP addresses then you do get security risks so there we go we've set up the thing essentially and we shall click apply um, so once that's done that we need to go ahead and find out my external IP address as you can see here we go service name Minecraft uh, start and end port 25565 and the IP address 192.168.13 Okay, so next of all, what we want to do is close that. Um, we're going to go on to what's my IP or whatever you want to call it. I think it's what my, what's my IP dot org. Yeah, those. Okay, and in the centre, it should tell you your IP address, which is there. Which again, I've blurred out for security purposes. So there we go. There's my IP address. Um, so what you need to do now is, uh, if we go back to our desktop, uh, well, let's find the Minecraft server folder. I'll put it down there for the time being. Um, we're going to open it up, um, I'm going to uncheck that so it doesn't always come up with that dialog box every single time you open it. So we're going to click run, it should come up with a new dialog box like this. And what it's now going to do is generate a world for you, and if this comes up just click unblock. 
So it will actually generate two worlds, of course, because remember, uh, Minecraft multiplayer now supports uh, the Nether Realms. So that's kind of cool. So what we need to do is wait a while. I'll probably do a time skip because actually, for me, it takes a while to generate the two worlds. So in which case, I shall see you in a sec. I will come back to you when it's all done and dandy and whatever. <laughs> I'll see you in a sec. Okay, so here we go. We have got the server up and running. Um, please excuse these messages saying can't keep up. That's just because my system isn't the highest of specs that it could be. But um, I will be getting a new computer soon, actually. Sooner than I think. <laughs> I originally thought when I was going to get one for Christmas, but it seems we're sort of all moving down, so I'm getting, you know, just whatever. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. Um, what we're going to do now is just close this, and we're going to close... Uh, this as well, and then what we are going to do is go back onto here, get the IP address, which is here. Okay, again, it's blurred out for security purposes, but let's close that. And what we're going to do now is open up Minecraft, and we shall test out the server with that um, IP address I just used. Okay, so here we are on Minecraft. Uh, all we've got to do now is test out the server. Uh, so let's go on multiplayer. Um, oh, that was a previous uh, server I was on. <laughs> it's a pretty awesome server as well. If you want to go on it, then of course you can. <laughs> a little bit of advertising there, I guess, but oh well. Um, anyway, so let's test out the server. So let's put in the IP address, which again will be blurred out for security purposes. Uh, colon 2556. Five, Why not keep putting 35? Such an idiot. <laughs> so yep, yeah, connect, and it should come in. So let's log it in. Normally it'll come up with, I don't know connection failed or whatever. Let's, hold on. This might lag a hell of a lot by the way because I'm actually running the server and Minecraft on the same computer. Usually I host my Minecraft um, server on my laptop and therefore I can play the game on my desktop without some lag. So here we go. This is this is the world. That's it. You can tell that your thing works. And then all you need to do to get friends to friends and other people to join in is give out your external IP. Remember the external IP is shown on the what's my IP.org webpage. Obviously it'll be different for everybody, so you know. <laughs> so yeah, thank you very much for watching. I do hope this tutorial has been of use to you. Don't forget to like the video if you did like it. And obviously if it if it was helpful then again you gave it a like and I'll I much appreciate it. So yeah, thank you very much for watching, peoples, and I shall see you guys later.